Gonna be making a cake today, really simple to prepare, but absolutely scrummy yummy. Now, all we need to do is to make up the cake mixture, put it in the oven, pull it out, and then what we're gonna do is pour this lovely sort of zingy and sugary lemon drizzle all over the top of it. It's just gonna soak into the cake and it's gonna be divine. Now, first of all, I'm just gonna run you through the ingredients, really very simple. Now, we're gonna be using self-raising flour, caster sugar, and I've got some butter there. You can use salted or unsalted. Now, the quantity of each of those is 225 grams each. So all three the same. Now with the butter, you can see I've taken a little bit off the end there because that's 250 grams, so just slice a little bit off. So we're nearly using the whole block of the butter. Now the other thing you need is four eggs. So get yourself four eggs, and we're gonna put those in one at a time. Now the last thing you need is a little bit extra caster sugar. I've got about 85 grams of caster sugar there, and we've also got, I've got one good sized lemon if you get small lemons, then just use two of those or one and a half, you know. But I've got one big size lemon, and what we're going to do is get the zest off it, because that's going to go in the cake, and all that juice is going to go with that caster sugar, and that's going to make up that delicious lemon drizzle. So the first thing we're going to get on with is making the cake mixture. So I've got myself a bowl there, and what we're going to do is add that butter in, and then we're gonna add the caster sugar, and just with a, a wooden spoon, kind of just mix it around slowly until you get it into a nice sort of creamy paste. And then I'm just gonna really kind of dig this and try and mix it with the caster sugar. So just do it until you get a nice creamy paste. So I've just been mixing mine for a couple of minutes and it's just gone a bit sort of creamy now. So, you know, it's looking good, that's how I want it. If you've got butter that's a little bit hard, then when it's in the bowl on its own, pop it in the microwave for like 10 seconds and it should soften it up a little bit and then you can put all your sugar in it. It'll just make your job a lot easier to sort of get it into this creamy mixture. So now we've got the creamy mixture all done, what we're gonna do is to start putting the eggs in. Now I'm gonna be using obviously four eggs and I'm gonna put one at a time, mix it up and then add another one until we've got all four of them in there. Now as a little tip, what you can do is put your egg in a bowl that way you don't get any eggshell in there because you don't really want eggshell in the cake. So we're just gonna pop one egg in there and then we're gonna just give it a bit more of a mix really, try and get it all mixed in. And once that one's all mixed up, then we can add another egg until we get them all in there. So I'll just carry on and try and get it nicely mixed up before you put the next egg in. Give the second one. So I've been adding the eggs, this is the fourth one now, so it's the last one, just give that the final mix. And it's become, you know, quite nice and liquid now, so it's a lot easier as you add the eggs in really. So just make sure you've given it a good stirring to get everything mixed up. Now with the flour, I'm just gonna put that in and I'm just gonna sieve it. You see I've got a little sieve there. I'm just gonna pop that in. And I think it just gives it a little bit more air. And I think it makes a nicer cake. So I'll just keep shaking that until we get it all in. So we've got the flour in the bowl. Now I just want to show you the other thing we're going to use. We've got the lemon zest here. Now I've got the lemon. I've just sort of, you know, grated it with one of these sort of graters really. Now when you do that, be careful not to go too much into the white because the white starts to become a little bit bitter so I've gone all round it and I've got you know a reasonable amount there so I'm just going to really pop that in there and we're just going to mix it all up it's going to add a really nice lemony flavour so what I'm going to do is just mix this up and get it all combined really so just try and get it back to a nice moist looking mixture really get all that flour mixed in going to be delicious with that lemon zest. So I've just been mixing mine for about a minute. I think I've got it all nicely combined now. So got a lovely cake mixture, all ready to go. So what I'm going to do is get me cake tin. I'm going to put some oven proof paper inside the cake tin and then we're just going to pour this mixture straight in and put it in the oven. What I'm doing is I've just put some of this oven proof paper in there and then what we can do is just pour the mixture straight in here. Just pour it in like that. So I'll do that until I've got it all out. 
and then we just very lightly press it down. So I'm then just going to gently kind of squash it down into the corners and round the edge. And it will grow when it's in the oven anyway, it'll rise slightly bigger, but you just want to kind of get it a little bit evenly put in there really. That's it. That's all in there, all ready to go. Let's put it in the oven. So I'm just going to put the cake mix into a preheated oven and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook it for about 45 minutes, 50 minutes maybe. 45 minutes I'm going to check it with a, a skewer or a knife just to see if it's done. Now temperature wise 180 degrees Celsius, 350 Fahrenheit, gas mark 4. Now I've been cooking the cake for about 45 minutes so what I'm going to do is just open the door Pull the cake out gently, and I'm going to test if it's done. How do you know if your cake's done? Really very simple. Now what I'm going to do is, when I pull it out, I'm just going to put a knife in there, or if you've got a skewer. If it comes out clean, your cake is done. If it's got like, you know, little bits of the cake left behind, you need to cook it for a little bit longer. So I'm just going to pull mine very gently out of the oven. Oh, it smells beautiful. But let's just pop a knife in there. Let's just try that again. It's very close to done actually. I think we could almost pull this out. I will just leave it probably just another five minutes. Now I've got my cake there. Now we actually tested it about 45 minutes and what I did was I left it there for another sort of about another seven or eight minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the cake out, let it cool down a little bit and whilst it's cooling down we're going to make that lemon drizzle. Mm. So I've got the cake and I've taken it out of the oven and it's all ready to go. Now what I'm going to do is just with a little fork look at that lovely crispy topping beautiful it's going to be a beautiful cake. So I'm just making these little holes because we're going to put some lemon drizzle on there and I, I want plenty of that to go inside the cake. So just leave that to cool down and we're quickly going to get on with the lemon drizzle. Now to make the lemon drizzle, I've actually sort of juiced the whole lemon that we used. You know, we've sort of taken the zest off it and I've just sort of squashed it around, got all that juice out of there. So let's just pour that into a bowl. Make sure there's plenty of lemon juice. And again, just pour in that 85 grams of caster sugar mix it up with a spoon and then what we're going to do is pour that all over that beautiful cake look at that put it in there a little bit there great I'm looking forward to this so just let it sort of settle down for about 10-15 minutes cool down and then we're going, to, we're going to pull it out chop it up and try some of that so I've got the cake and it's all ready to go it looks absolutely delicious. Look at that. You can see all that sort of sugary topping and mm, oh, it's going to be so good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this sort of paper we've taken out there. Look at that. Move it out of the way. I've got a plate here in the ready. And I'm just going to pull this out. Maybe I should be a bit more careful. And put it onto the plate. And we're going to serve it up and taste it. So I'm just going to pick it up very carefully and I'm going to put the whole thing very carefully onto a plate. Oh, broke a little bit there. I'm just going to try a little bit of that. This broke a little bit so open so you can see what's inside. Look at that. You can see round the edges where we kind of pricked it, you know, put these little stab marks all those sort of juices, lemon and sugar has really gone into it. It's a really moist cake. Let me try that. I'm going to try this. I'm going to eat. Mm. Oh, that is divine. Absolutely love it. I'm not a big cake heater, but it's so nice. Thanks for watching and enjoy it.